mast. It's flying at half mast because of the losses we have suffered this week. And one of the things it brings into sharp relief is why we need the skill, the professionalism, the duty and honor of United States Marines and sailors that we, that we recognize here today. And so I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be here on behalf of the President to present the Presidential Unit Citation to 2 MEF, 2nd Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Afghanistan. I'm really happy to be here with the incredibly good Commandant of the Marine Corps, Jim Amos, with whom I, I am privileged to serve every single day, and his lady, Bonnie, uh, who spends her days worrying about families of Marines, young and old, here and far afield. The Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps and General Larry Nicholson, who commanded 2 MEF, Brigadier General Love, who um, now commands, to General Fox, and to all our distinguished visitors, guests, Marines, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here today. One of my first trips when I took the job as secretary was here at Camp Lejeune. I had been secretary about two weeks. I had the opportunity to get a good look at the camp and also to meet with some of the Marines and sailors who were stationed here. I've seen Lejeune Marines literally all over the world, but particularly in Afghanistan. Major General Fox said, I've been to Afghanistan nine times, and I've had a chance to see our Marines, in the words of the Marine hymn, the first to fight for right and freedom. I'm so proud of 2 MEF for earning the Presidential Unit Citation, the nation's highest award given to any unit. But I have to tell you, I'm not surprised. Operational excellence is absolutely nothing new for the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Brigade. This command was awarded its first presidential unit citation for Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, and now we add a second ribbon and streamer to that proud legacy. Another former commander of 2 MEF is with us today, Jim Amos. Today, this brigade of almost 28,000 U.S. and coalition forces will again be recognized or has been recognized in the ranks of other stored units that have received this award from World War II in the Pacific to Korea to Vietnam to Iraq. The professionalism, the skill, the resolve of these Marines behind me and of their brothers and sisters have been tested and they have met every single trial. You've established forward operating bases, expeditionary airfields, combat outposts, patrol bases across Helmut Province in the heart of the Taliban insurgency, and all the while bringing the fight to that insurgency wherever they happen to be. Two mouth is capable of overwhelming force as they demonstrate in Operation Kanjar or Strike the Sword with nearly 4,000 U.S. forces joined by over 650 Afghan police and soldiers. It was the biggest offensive airlift of Marines since Vietnam. But 2MEF is also very capable of using other skills, skills to train Afghan soldiers. And the more subtle but equally important ones of carrying out counterinsurgency, like building communities, making the place safe, and protecting innocents and children. The accomplishments of two men set the example for our NATO ISAF forces and our own military deploying to Afghanistan. 
to MEF effectively manage very different types of security operations, from developing the Afghan security force to assisting in the creating of the rule of law, improving local governance, creating key leader engagement, female engagement teams, and opening schools. You made 58,000 square miles of battle space, 10,000 square miles more than North Carolina, a more stable and secure place in the world.